Hey YouTubers, today we're going to be looking at fixing my AC unit. Uh, the uh, unit is set at 73 but the interior temperature is hovering at 81 degrees. We're at about yeah, 80 degrees, 82 degrees. Should be much cooler. Okay, we're out here at the unit. The fan is currently running. I'm going to go inside and turn off the AC and I'm also going to turn the power off to the unit at the breaker box. Okay, somewhere on your unit you'll have a, uh, an access panel. Uh, remove the screws that hold it in place and you'll have access to the wiring and the run capacitor for the compressor. Okay, here is the run capacitor right here. Here is the wiring coming in from the house. This is going to be 240 volts. So I'm going to check this to make sure that there's no power before I touch it. No power. We're good. Next thing, take a screwdriver and short out the leads on this capacitor to make sure it's not still holding a charge. Once you've done that, remove it. <clears throat> Make a note of where these leads go. Uh, you're gonna have three of them on here, a brown, yellow, and a red. So there's a C listed on the red one and the brown one goes to fan. So remove these and visually inspect your capacitor. Now, right off the bat, I can tell that you see how it's bulging along here. That's a sure sign of the blown capacitor. So I know this needs to be replaced. If you have a voltmeter that uh, is capable of measuring capacitance, you can, you can test it and to make sure that it's really dead. This one's clearly dead because it's bulging so bad. Okay, here's the old capacitor. Here's the new capacitor. You can see right off the bat, uh, the top isn't bulging. So that's good. Now we're going to measure these. So I've got my voltmeter set up to measure capacitance. And <clears throat> what you do is this one's rated, this has got 40 on it. So usually on these larger capacitors, it takes a while for these voltmeters to, uh, to measure them. But we got nothing. So let's measure the new one. This is a good capacitor. Okay, so take your new capacitor and let's wire it up. <clears throat> Keep in mind how you took the leads off the old capacitor. Make sure that you put it on the same way. So I know red goes on C, brown goes on fan, and the yellow goes on the last one. Okay. Okay, we're back inside at the thermostat after replacing the run capacitor. Let's turn the system back on. Set at 73 degrees. Interior temperature is 81. Let's go over to the vent and see how we're doing. Now let's measure the temperature again. System is on. And uh, yeah, 68 degrees, that's a whole lot better than 80. So it looks like that fixed our problem. Alright, thanks guys. Hope that helped you out and uh, don't forget to subscribe.